it seems, ladies and gentlemen, that I am being one thumb down constantly. But I'm just giving my opinion out on mo most of the things, and you know, I I enjoy doing this, and I don't know why. I don't know why you horror night addicts, you know, some of you want to be very uh, cruel. Um, we're all here to have, uh, sorry, we're all here to have fun. And it's supposed to be a joyous event, and some of you take it too seriously. And uh, please don't take it too seriously, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it, it's an event, for crying out loud. It's not... It's not who's right, who's wrong, you know. I know most of the people that do it. I used to be one of those. I knew most of the people who did this were um, during 12 to 11 to 13 years of age. And they think Halloween Horror Night Nights is the bomb. Well, I worked Halloween Horror Nights and also with the, some design work. And I helped them build some stuff there for many years. And so I know how it is. And... Ladies and gentlemen, please. It's an event, for crying out loud. You know, there, there, there's some die-hard fans. I'm, I, that's what I always love seeing, die-hard fans. Because, you know, that paid my salary back in the days. And it will still pay my sal salary in the future if I ever, you know, return. But, it's, um... How do I say this? It's childish to, you know, make fun of... I have been seeing it on other videos, and they haven't been doing to me that much. They've been just giving me a one thumb down. But, uh... Come on, guys. It's childish. It really is. You know, you're probably decent individuals. But when it comes October, you guys are pretty much psychotic, and I like that. But, eh... You know, it, it's ridiculous. I even went to a blog, and I was reading through the blog, and one, I don't know which website it was. It was some little website not a lot of people travel on. And then there was a little, a fight on the the forum. It says, if I see you at Horror Nights, I'm going to punch you in the face. Well, why would you punch the man in the face, you know, for giving an opinion? You know, it just doesn't make any sense if you're going to, you know, hurt an individual. Because people are there to have fun, and... And then when you strike somebody at the parks, you know they're going to call the cops. You know you're going to be banned from the event. And you know you're going to be let out in handcuffs. So, why do you want to strike another person? It, I don't know. Maybe it's the kids nowadays. Maybe it's the brutality of man or something. I don't know. But, I, like, I, I, need to, I need to say this. It's an event, guys. We all have fun at the event, but we need to settle down. Because some of it's getting really out of line. Like, punching someone in the face at the park, or... You know, that's a good way, if I was Universal PR, and I know a lot of the PR reps there. If I was Universal PR, and I'm seeing people say that, I would get their screen name and wait. Because probably they're going to pop their face up. And I would take a capture of that face. I would put on a cork board. Their face on a cork board. And wait. And if they do that. And I would save the videos too. And I would save what they wrote. And I would make a little file. And uh, because this is going to deplete ticket sales. If people are like. Oh well there's going to be someone you know fighting there. There's going to be a multiple people fighting at the park. <laughs> No one wants to go to a, a theme park where, you know, if there's multiple threats to someone's life. No. Nah. No one wants to go. And, you know, they're going to make fun of me for saying this. But, come on, guys. It's just an event. Don't get bent out of shape. You know? It's not meant to go, com you know, go completely berserk. Like, like when I go, I, I always leave very early, like around 10 or 11. Because I know there's going to be alcoholics stumbling to the car. And I know they're going to cause an accident. I know that for a fact. There's not a lot of responsible people out there anymore. They are, 
you know, the police can do so much in Orlando, and the the uh, Universal Security can do so much, but they're gonna there's some of them that's gonna uh, slip by them, just slip by them. You know, there there's some tricks to get beer out of City Walk, ladies and gentlemen. There is tricks to get beer out of City Walk, without letting them know you have you know. Usually it's glass bottles. You can't really get mixed drinks out of it. But, uh... Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um... You know, it's not really ridiculous because I got stopped by carrying a soda with me. <laughs> I had a soda and they told me I had to throw it away. <laughs> but I paid for it at the park and I was walking up. You know, there was a, you know, there's, there's, uh, real hardcore, um, security, and there's really, some of them are just medium security. Not a lot of lax security anymore, but you see a lot of medium lax, like, medium lax, I call them. Like, you know, if they see soda, they're just gonna let you buy, but if they see alcohol, then they're gonna get it, you know. Of course, because you're going into a parking garage. Why would you carry alcohol in the parking garage going to your car? That is not, oh. But, uh, the police presence at Horror Night is just amazing. All the police there. I just tell you, almost half of the OPD is in Horror Nights, and then half of it, you know, half of it is in Not So Scary Halloween, half of it's in SeaWorld Little Thing, and half of them are on I Drive. So, anything towards, um, anything towards. Uh, downtown Orlando really doesn't have that much. There's a couple cops down there, but really, they're all Universal, Disney, and uh, SeaWorld. So, which, which is kind of weird. There are so many cops in one place. Yeah, it's like, I could see a cop in every house. I think it was last year's cop on every corner. You could see just their, their shoes just standing right behind the uh, curtains. In case if anyone does anything stupid, you know, they come busting through the curtains. That's more scary than some of the actors. I remember I was in a maze one time. It was when I was a kid. Uh, I think it was Halloween or 7, I'm not sure. I was, you know, standing, I uh, was going through the maze and some guy, you know, hit someone and a cop just comes busting out of the out of the sheet, you know, the the, cl the cloth area, and it scared the heck out of me, because he just came busting, grabs the guy, and brings him back through the sheet, I'm like, whoa, you know, that guy's getting arrested, but that was a cool effect, though, so I was a kid at that time, I loved it, but, uh, then I got out of the maze, looked to the side, and the police car, and he, you know, the guy put him in the police car, but that was funny as heck, too, the guy just comes charging right through the, the, the sheet, it was great. That scared the heck out of me. If it just scared the heck out of him when he got grabbed and thrown right back into the... <sighs> right into the police car. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's, it's, it's an event, okay? We're all here to have fun. We're not here to kill each other. You know, we're all the same people, ladies and gentlemen. We like certain things. And I gave my opinion, I think, on Zombie Girl. Zombie Girl, I, I gave an opinion. I think it would stink. I say, I think I said, I think it would suck this year. Well, looking at the things, you know, I'm not a big fan of Mardi Gras. You know, it reminds me of an old creative director back in the days who was in charge of it. And I think T.J. Marino took his job. Not took his job, but he took over his place. Adrian, his name was. And, uh, he did not make that much smart decisions in Horror Nights. And, uh, he was kind of, he was kind of dull. And, uh, TJ is a good guy. I like TJ. He's a good man. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it's, it's just something that reminds me, you know, it could be Left for Dead or something, but, that, but I just... I don't know. <laughs> Seems to be like an Adrian thing they had to bring back. I don't know. It was horrible. It looks... It, it, I 
don't know. I'm not a big fan of Mardi Gras or zombies in the Mardi Gras. You know, it could be Zombie Nation. You know, like a nation of zombies and it's a parade of, you know, but it's... Oh, well. We'll see what it does, you know. I don't like the uh, looks of it. You know, it's a zombie with beads in his hand, you know. It's... Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, I don't know what to say, really. But I know one thing. It's going to be fun this year. And there's going to be a lot of cool mazes. Mazes that I think that was not going to be good. You know, mazes I don't think that were going to be good. Look pretty darn good in my, my mind. And I saw a couple things. So, uh... Yeah, I, I got the Legendary Truth House basically up on my website, uh, on my blog. So, I hope you like that one. It it, it looks very awesome in the beginning. It's like a house and it has all the stuff for paranormal investigation. That's that's awesome, that's awesome man. I think that house is going to be, I don't know, terrifying, but it's going to be fun. But, anywho, talk to you later.